Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. We had designed this home page using Figma in the last couple of videos and uh, in this video I'll show you how to convert this Figma design to HTML. So we'll be converting this design to a real home page. So let's get started. <laughs> So first of all, let's decide how to structure this. For the navigation, I'll be having a division called nav container to hold this nav menus and this logo. And then for this part over here, I'll be having a division called header container. And in that we will have a division for this header content and another division for this image. And then we'll have a separate division for these icons. And we will contain all this inside a division called wrapper so that we will have this maximum width of let's see what is the maximum width over here let's just draw a rectangle and see what is the maximum width of our content so here we can see the width of our content is 1200 pixels so that's what we are going to set for the maximum width alright so let's get started with the HTML I have opened up a blank project called home page in VS code so let's get started by creating a new file and we'll name it index.html and then one more file for the styles and then one more file for the JavaScript and in index.html we'll add some boilerplate code so just type exclamation and press tab and uh, here we will type welcome and we'll also add the link of our style sheet over here and uh, before the body ends we will add the JavaScript file now let's get started with the first part which is the navigation so we'll have a division called nav container and then in nav container we'll have a division called wrapper to hold all the nav items and in that we'll have the nav element and uh, first we'll have a division for logo and here we'll just type d dot and then we'll have an unordered list to hold all the menu items so we will type ul and we'll also give it a class of nav items and uh, in that we'll have list items and uh, in that we'll have anchor tags so here the first menu item is blog and uh, then we have three more menu items for contact about and search so we'll just copy this list item from here and uh, paste it down here three more times and then here we have contact and uh, here we have about and then for the search we will have an anchor tag with both the images and we'll also give a class to the anchor tag so we'll give a class of nav button container and now we have to export the images from figma now let's export all the images we want out of Figma. So first of all, let's export the search icon and the close icon. So we'll go to the home page frame and uh, in that we will go to navigation. And in nav items, we have these icons. So select the search icon and uh, scroll down over here and you can see an option called export. And uh, here we have the option of exporting and uh, we can choose the file format over here. So let's choose SVG. And if you click on preview, you can see the image right here. So let's click on export. And uh, we'll create a new folder over here. And uh, we'll name this search icon. Now let's export the close icon. So just click on this close icon and then scroll down over here and uh, then click on this export icon and we cannot see the icon over here that's because we had set the opacity to 0 so let's set the opacity to 100 for exporting and now we can see the icon so let's select SVG and export and we'll name it close icon and uh, now let's set this to 0 back again Alright, so now I'll just select these images and uh, export them. For some of the images like this photo and uh, these icons, I'll select PNG as the file format. And then we'll also export these two background shapes. Alright, so I'll just speed up the process of exporting.
Now for this background shape, I will just select both of these and I will group them. And I will export this group. Right, so we have exported all the images we wanted so let's go back to index.html and uh, continue designing our page now here we will add both the clothes and the search images and uh, we'll hide and show them using javascript and uh, some styling so let's add an img element and for the source we'll type images slash search icon dot svg and uh, we'll also give it a class of search button and we'll just duplicate this and uh, for this we will type close button and uh, for the image we will type close icon so let's just open this with live server and see the result so this is our uh, result as of now now let's continue with the design and uh, now next we'll create another division called the header container and uh, in that we'll have a wrapper to set a maximum width of 1200 pixels and in that we will have a header and uh, here we will have two classes one for hero container and uh, the other for the hero image all right in the hero container we will have an h1 and we will type the heading And then we'll have a paragraph and we'll copy and paste the paragraph over here. And lastly we have a button. So we'll create an anchor tag for that. And we'll type contact me. Alright that's it with the hero content. This should be hero content not hero container. So we'll just change this to hero content. Alright now for the hero image we will have an image that we just exported so images slash photo and then for the background that we see over here we will have a division and we'll give it a class of photo bg and we'll leave it blank and then we have these social icons so let's get out of the header and here we'll create a division called social icons and uh, we'll have the three images over here so img images slash instagram and we'll just duplicate this and uh, then the next image we have is behance and then we have dribble now the last thing we need to do is uh, create the search box so we'll create it outside our uh, nav container here we'll create a division with a class of search box and we'll have an input and we'll also give it a placeholder of search here all right i think that's it with the html so let's go to our web page and uh, here's the result that we have right now all right so that's it for this video in the next video i'll show you how to style this page and also add some javascript for the animations so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and click on the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.